I want to thank you because oh. your your kind of being attentive is very supporting, much supporting me. I feel free really to share what I know, and I feel you you can <laughs> you can relate to it. So this is why you have experience and a competent background. So somehow you can compare with with what you what you do and what you already know, and I get the feelings that you. You, then you can account for what is gives you new aspects. Yeah. Also on the quantum level, certainly things are not so new, yeah. but on the how to put it. Mm -hmm. and this is, gives me a good feeling. Uh, I, I thought I'm just now doing a learning conversation. Uh, is that okay for you, that Giesem, who was just the first? Yeah. Yeah. Said, um, he's, he's ready to do it. We do it together? Okay. And before we start, I set the frame and I all the, the contract and also the, a, a part of the cultural frame for our conversation. We will maybe have a conversation about a half an hour or so, maybe three quarters of an hour, that depends on what we have to discuss. Afterwards, everybody is allowed to talk about what we did. That's okay with you, yeah. and certainly you know it will be on DVD on all the world. <laughs> uh, it can. I will not mention the names. <laughs> <laughs> and how much? How much money they gave you? <laughs> and uh, we have two focuses. One is our conversation, and this is my primary, primary. Primary, yeah, prime, primary um, criterion to control myself to do something to give you a service, and at the same time, it's a teaching situation. So, it's also, uh, if it's so far, it's possible should be an example. Uh, so, I agree. is that okay? If, uh, when I in between think I should comment something yeah. from this perspective. Would you, are you, is it likely that you will be disturbed by that, or is that no. okay with you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the next thing I want to do, bef and this is not going on the time of our conversation, uh, is introducing something I like to do and I want to share with everybody. This is uh, introducing into my style and uh, introducing you in the way I transparently work. Uh, so, usually, I'm 65 almost, so I'm an expert on myself. How should he, in 20 minutes, understand what I'm doing, my style? So why not explain to him how I work, I functioning, what, and and how I understand myself, and he can check with, whether this will fit to his style or not style. And I will ask him, because in half an hour. Uh, maybe it's not enough time to understand uh, whom, uh, how my client usually creates reality. So before we start, we usually uh, have some conversations on uh, uh, how we how we understand ourselves and give us hints, mutual hints about style and needs. So coming from the perspective, if if you want to ha have a pleasurable time with me, this is what you should think of. So I'm a type of cat, so do cat. So <coughs> do not expect me to run for sticks. <laughs> also, <laughs> it might be possible with a lot of effort, but it's not my nature. So I I just want to tell you how I understand what are major points of how I work. What I already explained is I'm just doing a conversation. We just start somewhere. I'm not doing a formal contract like we have learned to do in TA. Contract for me is more the way we, on the way we, we both are looking whether we are on a good track or not. In between, uh, I do as much as I can to inform you how I am thinking on what I am trying to do, so that you know that and can help to correct me or give me hints or offer yourself ideas what we can try. 
I call myself a directive uh, consultant. Does mean also also authoritarian. It means feeling responsible for finding a direction. And I feel free to offer you what I think where we could go, and we talk about this as well. And this goes even uh, into the fields that I could give you information I have, share experience with you I have, or even if I think that could be helpful, give you an advice. It's no, there are no means that are excluded from my style. Um, I believe that each conversation is, a, is, is an art piece. It's not the same as every other conversation I ever had because we are two unique persons meeting here. And this is also important for those who listen not to think, oh, now I get the schema of Bernd Schmidt style. There is no schema. I've learned such a lot that there is not one schema I ever use. And please do not identify with Gethin, uh, like, oh, if he would tell this to me, if, if because I, I do not tell it to you, I tell it to Gethin, look at Gethin, whether he can make use of it. So. Uh, I never think more than I say. Do not try to figure out what he's, is he really thinking. He's, He's just not thinking more than <laughs> he's overtly dealing with. I'm working very transparently. And besides, we have a role differentiation. I just feel like uh, being a colleague to you. And we are two human beings who, beings who want to learn together. So I hope you help me to control the process and make it fit to you. Okay. Because I cannot know everything that you need. Yeah, I'll take responsibility. Mm -hmm. And I like humor and making things not unnecessarily heavy. Is that good for you? Or yeah. You like humor, humor is, yes. as well? Yes. I, I'm, I, I describe my style as being experimental. So if something comes up to my mind, I offer it and try it. And we find out whether it's any worse had any worse or not. If not, we could skip it. Okay. Or we make it better or whatever. And we do not go at one point and work something through. I might uh, say, okay, we could do this and then here, but I want to go uh, in my helicopter and we go up and yeah. see where we should also yeah. go down and, and, okay. and maybe add something. So this... I'm. You can. I, I'm sensible. And I'm, I'm not sensible. Or you know how you say? <laughs> no, it's the wrong word. Sensi I'm not sensitive. So you talk to me if something is. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> if somehow bothers you or what? Yeah. So how how do you know yourself? Uh, do you usually uh, feel quite quickly whether we are on a good path or not? How? What is your style in? Uh, judging what we are doing, you, you, you quickly know whether it's good or not, or you yeah. take time. Yeah. You know it quickly. It happens in, in a very short span. <coughs> okay. And you are free to say it then. I will say it. Good. Because it happens quickly. Yes. But sometimes I don't know whether it is uh, applicable, appropriate. Oh, okay. Thing. So uh, again, I build on it. To see I welcome it. it very much. Yeah. So we said we have a, a learning community and the question we have are not between us maybe some of the dynamics come into our relationships and we take it there and talk about okay. but it's not uh, between us as persons so this is my style how do you like when I describe do you think it could yeah, fit I liked or? it uh, particularly about the transparency yes and you said, I'm not thinking more than what I say. Yes. Because sometimes it it leads to a guess or keep guessing what the, the other person is thinking in their mind. And particularly if, mm -hmm. if you're a supervisor or yes. something like yeah. that. So, so when you say that, it, it gives me ease. Okay, whatever he's thinking, he's going to anyway say. Mm -hmm. so similarly, whatever I think, I will also say them. So Good. 
It's be, it's, it can be overt in both the sides. Wonderful. Yeah. Some, something you want to explain to me what, uh, about your style <coughs> and what I should be careful with or have specific focus on to help you? Um, my style is I, I have a uh, passion to connect theories yeah. and then uh, look through the theory, the yeah. situation yeah. and uh, sometimes look away from the theory. Look through the theory is uh, having the concept and looking through that. Yeah. And then keeping that aside and seeing reality for what it is. Mm -hmm. And then again, uh, it's like a fitting puzzle. Yeah. Uh, that's how I keep playing and exploring. So that's my style. Okay. And something I c can do especially to, to deal with your style, to help or to, mm -hmm. to correct? You can. No. Uh, What, what what is it you want to invite me to do? I uh, said, if I see, see, think I should do something, I I op offer it to you. Yeah. Um, I I you can challenge me in certain areas. Mm -hmm. Certain areas I require validation. Mm -hmm. uh, because I am very new to consulting. That's where uh, consulting and organization mm -hmm. is the first project I am going to take. Okay. As long as I was a trainer now, okay. then uh, maybe very indirect uh, consulting. Now okay. I'm going to take a role of a consultant. Okay. So I'm connecting certain certain theories in my mind, mm -hmm. and then I'm applying there. Okay. Um, so you accept very much to be be in a learning phase. Yes. On that yes. and yes. and in light yes. hints and yes. orientation. Hints, orientation, any skill to be developed. Yes. Um, anything which The strengths which I have mm -hmm. uh, in the way I am processing. So yeah. those are the things. Yeah. Well, it's just good for me to know that uh, you are hungry on things like that. Yes. Uh, because I'm for many years now in the field and I have a lot of experience. Anything else? Or we said uh, enough we can it's, start? It's there now. As we proceed, if something else pops up. You, you say it. I will uh, Wonderful. ask you on that. Wonderful. <laughs> Great. So, we just uh, start with your issue, how yes. it came up to your mind, and yes. when I know more, then I think about how we can approach it. Yes. Please start. Yeah. Um, the industry I'm working is, a, is where I'm going to work as a dairy industry. Dairy, uh, milk industry. Uh, milk, milk, yeah. Okay. So, Uh, around 5,000 employees are there. So what? 5,000 employees are the yeah. organization. Um, particularly the marketing department is what I'm going to deal with. Yeah. The marketing department has around 148 employees. Mm -hmm. um, of which, in 2010 to 2011, around uh, 92 people have left that organization. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> So that's the issue with which I'm going to work with. Okay. So, so that's that, the reason why they called you? Yeah. They called me for how we can recruit proper people who will fit into the organization. Oh, they did not call you for how can we understand so, that so many people left us? Now I have reframed the contract to mm -hmm. we need to understand mm -hmm. why people are leaving rather mm -hmm. than being, bringing people inside. Okay, so because I said it'll be like a bucket with a hole. Yeah. We keep bringing new people, and people are going to anyway go out. Okay. So we need to understand the system in which things are happening. So you you redefined the way yes. as the question could be approached. Yes. And did they co-define? Yeah, they also agreed to that. Okay. Uh, the the top management has agreed to that. Yes. However, the HR manager seems to be not very cooperative with me. That's where the mm -hmm. issue is. Mm -hmm. uh, because the top management takes the decision yes. that the project has to be approved and all those things from the HR department. Yes. Uh, when I spoke about this possibility of uh, looking at the retention yes. of the employees, I was talking with the managing director and he was a decision maker. Yes. So he said, we will go ahead with that. Mm -hmm. Now the HR manager... Since I didn't go through him, yeah. he feels very offended. 
I'm not sure whether I understood the role. There is a top manager who agreed to yes. your redefinition. Okay, let's yes. look also yes. why did the yes. people leave. Yes. And and who is who else is there? HR, the human HR, resources. Okay. The human resources department is there. Yeah. The marketing department is there. Yes. And the management is here. Yes. Okay. And I am an external consultant. And who, who felt offended? <coughs> the HR. The HR. H the human resource development general manager. And you say he is a kind of decision maker. He, he is he's he, not interested in much in understanding what happened so far. Yes. Okay. And and the head of the marketing. The marketing manager section? is willing to look at the possibility because okay. he is not able to give the result because people are not there enough people are not there yeah. people are leaving okay. so he wants to know what and how we how he can change the situation there mm -hmm. whereas here in the hr i see the difficulty mm -hmm. okay that's a very clear description of where you are and it's a real organizational problem okay <laughs> thank you for that <laughs> 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 that makes me feel okay. I'm normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I have several kind of question around that. Yeah. I start at one point, and, and I, um, yeah. um, I'm not sure. I'm, see, I'm considering whether I go on in asking, for example, a question like, who is, who is the one who counts for you in what, which role on the, on the company side? And, and things like that. This is within the logic. Or asking you, is this, how long do you have this question? How far are you in the process? What did you, when you talk to, did you talk to others already? What did they say? Is, no, Where are we the, in the it's way? It's a very initial process. <laughs> okay. And, uh, so you, you said, the so you chose the meta level at the first yes, point. Okay. Yes. The core definition has just happened. Yes. And uh, the marketing side, there has been a clear approval. The project has been submitted to the uh, human, human resource department with the finance and all those things. Code. Yes. So that's where the negotiation. The business happened. contract is is done. Yes. Okay. The the managing director has said a green signal to go ahead. Okay. But the process of final contract signed from the HR department has not yet come. Oh, so it's, it's, it's not finished? It's not finished. Okay. At, at this moment, uh, it was not finished because I it would have been done by now. Okay. I have to come here, so I came. So. Okay. Okay. So it's a it's a fresh process? You are in, in the midst process. of it and you are at this point yes. of uh, almost having accomplished the business contract yes. and part of it contract what you're going to do there yes but it's not yet signed by the hr manager HR manager okay so so far we have a situation what is your controlling question on the situation i always try uh, mike brown who was of jt of mine he said um, you have to make a difference between a situation you are in and this between a problem i have to solve so I understood what your situation is you are in. What is your problem you have to solve? Uh, the problem I have to solve is... Uh... Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I normally are paid for. For good questions. <laughs> <laughs> for good questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, one is the uh, how I, have, I can go and achieve the contract. Mm -hmm. is one where I'm going to yeah. see uh, here it's a very measurable process which I'm going to take mm -hmm. where uh, the contract is for six months and uh, what kind of contract would that be for days or accomplishing uh, something or, yeah, or accomplishing something for example what uh, that uh, the people leaving the organization yeah must have come uh, must have come down by 30 percent first and you accept to make sure that this will happen? Uh, I said we will facilitate our work with the system yeah. in such a way that we are able to retain 30% of people leaving the organization. And if you will not accomplish that, will you not be paid? No, it's not that way. That has been agreed. The, the managing director said if it doesn't happen, it's fine. Yeah. But even if people are uh, being in the organization for extra month, yeah. I would consider your project as a success. 
Okay. Yeah, I have questions yeah. around this kind of contract. Okay. I'm not sure whether we should go into that right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep it in mind. I okay. come back to that. Yeah. Not not even, severe question, but but something yeah. to question. Yes. Uh, even the, here, I had the same question. Do yes. I agree for a specific uh, outcome, saying that yes, yes, we will be able to bring down the attrition yes. by thirty percent. Yes. Um, first, I thought, let me not be so specific. Right. I thought we will improve the situation, but then That's I thought. It's not a question of being specific. It's a yes. question of kind of responsibility. But responsibility is a shared responsibility. That's yeah, what yeah, we have. Yeah, we, we, we should we should talk about this. But, yeah. but we, we keep it on the counter. Okay. My question uh, and find out whether there are other aspects how the situation is a problem to be solved for you, so that we can decide uh, which perspectives we take or in which order. Mm -hmm. What what else is a, a, an unsolved question for you around the situation? Another situation is how do I deal with this? Uh, the hindrance from the HR department. How do you? How do I deal with the uh, the resistance from the HR department? The HR. What What is it? What you call resistance? What is the uh, uh, the person doing? He's delaying the project. Yeah. Uh, by saying the management, the MD is not there available to get the signature or whatever. And that what is, What is your hunch? Uh, what is hunch means? What he is doing? Hunches. I spoke to the manage, manager, uh, the MD in the morning. Yeah. He said, I am going to reach today evening and I will take care of it. The project. He was this in was the station. So, so, so the top manager. Top manager. And he said he would take care of the process that this contract will be signed. Yeah, signed. Okay. When I spoke to the HR manager just an hour later, yes. he said the MD will be only coming after two days. So what the reason? The, the, ma the, ma the top man will yeah. come only after two days. Every It's not available. He he's said. not available. He said. Okay. He said that. So that's where the hunch is somewhere. He's okay. not so interested in making this happen. And okay. And how do you react to the situation and to your hunches you have? Uh, at that time my hunch was, okay, let me uh, leave it at that point rather than confronting him. Who is him? So HR? The HR. Yes. Rather than what, what, would, what would mean confronting? Confronting is just now I spoke to the, the to, MD mm -hmm. and he said that he will take care. I could have also told that to him. Okay. Uh, I thought, okay, let me not do that. Okay. So this is on the process of contracting. Yes. After the contract, let's imagine the contract is signed. Uh, what what then are your relationships and the different roles you? Yeah, I checked with the MD on that. Yes. To whom I am supposed to report? Yes. Who are the people involved in the process? Yes. He said uh, for this project approval, let it go through the HR department because they have to process the file. Yes. The rest of the thing you need to deal with the marketing manager. Yes. And if anything to be sorted out, yes. you can come back to me. To the MD? To the MD. So. Okay, so, <coughs> so the reporting is, uh, you work with uh, marketing yeah. uh, manager yes. and uh, about the progress all over the contract, your counterpart is the HR manager. Yes. And if there is something not satisfying, the MD said, I, I take responsibility. Yes. Uh, for clarification. Yes. What? Mm -hmm. And you feel comfortable with that? I feel comfortable there. Yeah, me too. Yes, because he is taking responsibility and he said that he will be in the process. Oh, mm -hmm. And if any suggestion if I bring, they will look for possible implementation of change. Mm -hmm. What are you worried? Are you worried about something? That there will, could be more in that? More in that is... Uh, this is a very initial phase. Yes. With the limited information, I yeah. have agreed for the contract. Yes. So once I get in, yeah, I don't know what all may surface. Mm -hmm. So it may mm -hmm. be a Pandora box, like oh, open yeah. and anything may surface. So there is a fear: will I be able to handle it and okay. sail through and make it a success? 
if you want to be more secure or invite others into more into <coughs> be, be, uh, talking about styles and procedures and criteria and so, would you have an idea how to do that? If you w would like to have more clarity on that? Yes. Mm -hmm. To whom would you talk how? Yes. Yeah. To whom would you talk how? To whom would I talk how? The question. That's the question. Yeah, yeah, I understood. The whom, because there are different people with whom I'm going to work with. Yes. So, my role changes with every designation whom <coughs> I work with. Mm -hmm. So it involves uh, uh, it involves conducting exit interviews with people who have left the organization. No, this is uh, now. Now we are in the content to work on why people leave. Okay. I'm still in the question of uh, building up a culture of uh, checking mutual whether you fulfilling your contract fine, whether the HR manager will agree to that. If not, whether you find out, mm -hmm. and if if there is something to sort out, how you called it, what to do then. It it seems to me as if you you still didn't come to a satisfying level of being in a shared reality that you know how the other person is looking at your contract and your possible work. Mm. Is, yeah. that, is that true? True with the HR department. Right. Okay. Uh, the shared reality, I have, uh, have, have had some amount of shared reality with the marketing department. And with the MD. And with the MD. Okay. Both of them. Uh, it would be a uh, uh, next step that is easy coming to my mind why not talking to the HR manager ab not about the, as a contract but uh, what, how he looks at the process how he understands his role how he uh, sees <coughs> his relationship to the M MD and how he reacts to the contract you have with the MD and how uh, how you could understand what his style is and his interest is and what you with mutual agreement can do uh, in the process of the mm -hmm. of the project okay uh, it's a hunch I have yes. with him yes uh, once I spoke to him regarding the about the process which I go through yes with him saying that uh, I told him that I could have shared with you also about this project. And when we are talking about a system, yeah. this popped up, this idea, and the MD said, we'll go ahead with that. So that's how it was uh, directly told to you that I am agreeing for a project. So it doesn't mean I want to bypass. I spoke to him once on the internal process. Yeah. Then I, uh, I clarified on his expectation. Yeah. He seems to say, for every decision, you come to me and then go. Okay. Well, Which the organization itself is not working in that direction. The marketing is executing their own decisions okay. and they are reporting to the okay. managing director. Whereas he, here the HR uh, manager seems to... Okay, so yeah, he has a different understanding, different understanding. of how, how the reality is and, and what the roles yeah. and responsibilities are yes. and, and, and the power is. Yes. Okay. You have an and idea? Another thing is, uh, and a personal background is, Yeah. Uh, this HR manager has seen me when I was in a uh, <coughs> different stage, as a in a different kind. Like I was a supply to the organization earlier. Oh, you, su <coughs> you would suppose he doesn't believe that you are very competent. Um, I'm not sure about that. Okay. That's where I see that he is not seeing me as a, still a professional, mm. a person who's. Is 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 your relation of that kind that you could tell him your assumption and ask whether that's true, and whether if it's true. Is open to give you a, a new chance and not control over controlling you. Could that be a meta communication between you two? Yeah, possible. That's one one option I have. When when you think at him, you think it could be he could be invited for to that. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, it's an option, but when you look at the person and you feel like it, he could accept it or, and, and uh, tune into that. I do. One side I see there is a possibility. One option is there. The yes. other option I see it's a difficult because. Now my question was, uh, what is your judgment about him? You, yeah, he you won't. Will... He won't so easily come along. He won't. He won't. Okay. 
because I have not seen him. Maybe ten years have, have been I know okay. him, but he has not developed a learning uh, attitude towards him. The new concepts. Okay, you have an idea uh, of him that he will not change. Yes. Okay. If not, what can you do then? Understand my role there, and go ahead with that. Uh, fixing onto that role. You could, but uh, it seems as if he has a different understanding how the controlling and reporting relationship is with you than you have. So it's quite likely there will be a conflict, a conflict one yes, day. Yes. Yes. Do you think that too? Yes, I think that too. And if any of the experiment which I am going to do, yes, if it is having a negative uh, <coughs> feedback, yeah. then the possibility the HR may take it and escalate it. Okay. And. Uh, it may sabotage the whole the project okay. itself. So, did you talk? To, did you talk to the MD about uh, these four roles, yours, his, the HR managers, and the marketing managers, and how how your understanding is how they work together and how uh, the, the responsibilities are? Uh -huh. I didn't share that part about. You didn't. I didn't. Did, ah, okay. This would be an option. That can, can be an yeah. option. And, and ask for his advice, how you okay. should deal with it when it comes to to differences in understanding reality and responsibilities. Okay. And find out uh, whether he understands it. You can talk to him on that level and uh, what kind of support he, he might offer you and whether he will take his role to inform the HR manager how he wants the responsibility system and the role system to be designed and worked. Mm -hmm. So, so then that you have an, at least with him, an, a mutual agreed understanding. Okay. So it means um, the script is written by the MD now, according to your theatre metaphor. Yes, and, and, and he defines the role. And the roles and, uh, on the way to to build up that play. Mm. Okay. I was thinking, uh, will it harm the HR you know, manager if I tell him or something? It's not like a harming. That, that's you, think, the, you think that's harming? He may lose his job sometimes if uh, he's not coordinating or something like that. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. That is my... That's yeah. my yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's the back side of Quentin's <laughs> <laughs> idea. Uh, that's, that may be a uh, thing. If, if you do that, not in a hostile way, but just because you want to be sure, uh, for the case of conflict, uh, you have talked about the roles, mm -hmm. and you are um, supported by the power position mm -hmm. of the MD. Mm -hmm. um, then I don't see any uh, any harmful okay. action from your side. Okay. You suspect the HR will understand it like this? That I am not sure. Okay. Um, I also want to know: Do I have to think so much for him? It's not for him, it's for you. Yeah, I'm thinking what will happen to him in my process. Like, if I tell whether he will accept or will it harm him? I, I sh you should not, but it's well only what you estimate, uh, what your hunches are, what, how he will react so that you can decide how much you, what yeah, you want okay. to do also to do something for him that is a a positive version of shared reality is possible. Okay. It's not in order to 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 exchange his responsibility. Okay. This would be symbiotic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That that one possibility I can take to talk to the MD mm -hmm. regarding the roles and yeah. and whatever he defines, then we can go according to that. Yeah. And even if if it uh, seems like being too much of a fuss on building up the contract, but if you you not, do not come with him to a clarified mutual understanding, shared reality about roles and all these things, and you are not convinced that he will back up you if there will be a problem, then the next thing could be to ask him to have a meeting of all you four, mm -hmm. the MD, the HR, the uh, man marketing, and and talk and and draw down the roles, responsibilities, 
mm. how you understood the HR manager wants to control you, mm. and if you do not share that, uh, say it's too narrow for you, you want to do this and that, in your understanding who should control you at this point is, whether they can share that or not, and just do a meta conversation and just uh, deciding on responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Maybe they would uh, consider this as being too much of a fuss about contracting. You could uh, say it's uh, if it's important with the issue, the content of your contract, and you will come to a point of conflict, it would be too much of a pity if you then do not have a shared and safeguard frame of reference. Mm -hmm. And if it's for them unusual to do that, it would be a nice exercise to do that. Mm -hmm. Because it's not only with you that might be necessary to, uh, in the beginning, clarifying things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. In case you will not come to a satisfying understanding of realities and responsibilities, how how vulnerable are you, or how free are you to say, okay, I tell you what the risks are, I tried, maybe in spite of the risks, but I, it, it's possible at this point that we will get a problem. I wanted to tell it you in advance. Mm -hmm. Uh, I understand if you do not want to make now a big discussion around that, but I I, I invite you to take the risk mm -hmm. that, uh, that this means for the process. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying uh, this is my thought then. Mm -hmm. and then, you, then, then you invite him not into, uh, if he's not taking the responsibility in clarifying everything, at least you invite him to take the responsibility around the risk of not clarifying. Okay, okay. Is this the mobile which you're talking about? Because one thing which mm. which may surface. No, I'm more thinking in terms of responsibility culture yeah. that I will lecture later on okay. when I talk about this. What is a wonderful example for <laughs> dealing with responsibility culture <coughs> and what what you can do to build it up. Okay. Okay. In case, uh, how is your background at home? In case you get insecure, you need support, you uh, need more reflections and advice. Do you have people have people around yeah, you yeah. who could yeah. support you from this frame of reference? In my organization, there are colleagues yes. where we discuss. Uh, there is another director. So we both discuss him. Okay, and you and, and, and you have in your own organization as a service offerer, you have a, a clear uh, conversation on responsibility. Yes. And you, you, you don't, there's not mirroring the problems over there. No. Okay, that's wonderful. So at this point in time, may we do not know whether the HR manager is of that kind. We assume. We always have to be open that he might be different and everything is going fine. Still, it's a good example to think about the structure, the structure of responsibility culture. Okay. And uh, so it's not only um, uh, um, a, an encounter of uh, a HR system or a company and you as a consultant, uh, heading for a specific goal, it's also an encounter of two understandings of responsibility systems. And you could mention that, that it's not our main contract, but we need to deal with that because we need it as a tool to further our conference. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a question also. Yes? Uh, now, this is about I've seen the, the manager, managing director 
the HR manager and me and the marketing manager. Now, how do I see this as a system or a systemic thinking? Now, how do I connect that here and and that systemic thinking in terms of why people are leaving the organization? <clears throat> yes, that's a different question of the consideration we had up to now has something to do with the leaving people. Mm. I don't know that. Mm. Might be, but I don't, don't know that. Uh, concerning so far we have discussed now, we have been thinking systemically. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Where all we have thought, so that I can <coughs> mm-hmm. feel of, okay, this is what is systemic thinking. Yeah, yes. Um, we, we did not diagnose the HR director, what kind of personality he might be, might have been, and was uh, what your what your transference problems might have been that you oh, expect okay. him uh, to be resistant, that you mm-hmm. diagnose him quite a bit stubborn, mm-hmm. and we could have gone uh, focus on, on all kind of individual diagnostic oh, okay. things. We didn't do though. We okay. just stayed. Uh, on considerations that fit to the role of how to build a contract uh, and what kind of roles and responsibilities and what kind of communication we need there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's systemic? Yes. Okay. That, that's one way. <laughs> <laughs> so then so. what are the other ways? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and at least one more to yeah. have an idea about. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's now, g- we have uh, one one piece of uh, around the contract mm. <coughs> that we did not deal with. Do you want here? Uh, we, maybe we should not have a big conversation on it. You want to hear s- j- just some comments from me on the yeah. co- on your contract? Yeah. <coughs> you, you also said you're keeping one question aside for later. Yes, so this is the one. This is the one. Something. This oh, is, that is the one. This is the one. Yes. Um, usually, as a consultant, you have a contractual uh, situation. You do not have the resources to to uh, to be sure that you can reduce, for example, the rate of people leaving. Mm-hmm. And because you do not have access to the things that are leading to that, it's not reasonable to put that this into your contract. Mm. Uh, fortunately, your payment is not connected to it. Yeah. Um, uh, you could promise to do good work on the way, but you could not promise to reach organizational goals because this is not only dependent from your work, it's dependent from so many things that you factors. cannot contract on it. I don't know what are the factors which is involved also. Pardon? I don't know the factors. Yes. Many of the factors which is right. causing for the okay. people to leave. Mm. It may be salary issue, it may be yes. uh, the, the industry itself. Okay. Uh, and, and so what you what you could do is um, contract with them that this is their goal, that you can do some work to find out. What it is their goal to? Their goal, not your goal. Okay. Okay. Your goal is to to service good work, uh, to serve good work. Uh, what do I what do we mean by good work? Is it? It's not easy to describe. You can tell them what you will do. For example, if you have a plan, you will. Okay, like work. the facilitator. Or you are, yeah, you are, no, no, not facilitator. Somebody who make who, who makes a kind of um, description of the reality from someone outside. Okay, an objective view from outside. Yeah, and for example, you can contract to ask <laughs> to ask people who are relevant for such processes, mm-hmm. uh, then to hear their feedback and have an idea how you see the okay, connections, okay, okay. write okay. that down or present that. Okay. And they can find out, with, uh, check whether they have mm-hmm. the feeling that you did that work mm-hmm. uh, reasonable. Okay. Yeah, that's a good option. And if you have goal and I'm... It's their goal. Yeah, yeah, it's their your goal, goal is, uh, and, and what you sell is uh, finding good settings, finding good focuses, adopting good concepts, 
um, putting everything in a framework that is manageable with the resources and time you have contracted on and uh, in dialogue with relevant others. This is what you can promise, not, not to reach their goal. Okay. And they, and they have the responsibility to check whether the work uh, you are doing with them is for them reasonable a reasonable, uh, a reasonable steps on the way they want to reach their goals. Mm -hmm. And you can, for example, uh, I personally, uh, I never uh, contract on an amount of work. Mm -hmm. I also uh, contract on uh, what we do until to the next milestone. And then we are both are free to think about continuing or not. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't have to, to run after having specific effects so you always can and, and you can take the, the position saying I don't see how you can reach your goal unless you are relating to what I'm doing yeah, yeah, yeah. not saying oh what ha have I to do to serve you you yeah. also can uh, call their responsibility yeah. And, yeah. and show the connection with where their responsibilities and the outcomes they want to have Mm -hmm. Up to the point that you say, I cannot uh, be responsible for you spending more money as long as I see you not doing what you can contribute. Mm -hmm. This is why uh, I stop until you decide whether you will go on with your contribution. Mm -hmm. Because it's a, a, a network <coughs> of, of responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Okay. Otherwise, you get into a, a wheel, a hamster wheel. Hmm. How, that, after, it, yeah. how does that sound for you? Actually, uh, I think maybe for the freedom that was recorded, like, uh, I think I had the smile only after when you said it's their goal. Yes. You are there as yes. an external facilitator yes. or external consultant who can share the responsibility with them and make them own their responsibility. You, you, you have a different responsibility than yes, they have. Yes. And, and you have to talk about in a responsibility yes. dialogue who can do what. Yes. And they also need to align with my my reality and my uh, yes. my uh, my suggestions to them. They don't have to. But if they don't, you cannot be successful. Yes. So that gives me a sense of ease. Mm -hmm. And that gives me a freedom to be objective there, rather than getting uh, identified with the goal. Right. Because that's not my goal. Right. My goal is to help them to achieve their goal. Mm -hmm. So right. I may come with my own means and methods and right. questions, right. Uh, new concepts to them. Yeah. And if if there's some specific knowledge is needed that you come to a conclusion that your work is not cannot be done without an additional knowledge and you can offer to bring in knowledge that's needed. Okay. For example, that's an enlarged responsibility you have. Mm -hmm. Not to do a work with means that are not sufficient to do this work. Mm -hmm. And it makes it clear. Okay. So they require <laughs> some other competence. For example, yeah. So uh then recommending them if it has to do with money paying systems and you're not an expert on money paying systems then all, I bring an then a, I see this as a as a level of reality mm -hmm. shaping mm -hmm. that is uh, as I ask people it makes sense to me that this is important to understand what mm -hmm. happens mm -hmm. but I I'm not I'm not able to describe this on a content level to you and if I would I'm not able to offer ideas where to, if, if you want to use these kind of levels, where to go there. Mm -hmm. We would need an expert for that. Do you mm -hmm. have one? Or should I bring one and find out whether we could mm -hmm. have a, find a, a common shared idea, what to do and have a contract for, at least for a first step, to find out whether this would be then sufficient enough, mm -hmm. or things like that. Okay. So that's all, these are all your responsibilities of being a qualified um, server. Mm -hmm. 
we did not talk at all about uh, the topic of the contract. So how we can have models of what probably happens there, how you can go for getting information to find out whether this is plausible or not. This would be a, a, a another level of, of the world, but now our time ran out. Yeah. Is that okay for me, for, for, for you, when we when le we leave the content level uh, of the possible contract out yeah. and just stick with the levels we have so far? Yes. So then we stop here, we go for a moment on the map, however, when you look at us both and look at the last 30 minutes, how, what is your first description, how that was for you? There's a flash of sentence which came yeah. when I looked from this. Uh, first, I was thinking in the system. Yes. Now, I, in the system means being in their system. Mm -hmm. Now, I get a feeling I have to make through their system. Mm -hmm. That's the difference I've got. Mm -hmm. okay. how, you, how you felt being dealt with? Uh, how, how was our relation? How you felt uh, you have been treated? <laughs> I feel very secure mm -hmm. in sharing mm -hmm. my doubts, my vulnerabilities with you. Mm -hmm. uh, even at a point when <coughs> you said I'll keep this question away for a while, yes. um, that was not threatening. That uh, yes. oh, there is something, some missile over there which is going to come at the end. Yeah. It was not like that. Yeah. It was kept at a ease in such a way that I could handle what is there and then bring it at an appropriate time. Yes. So. I felt all the all the time very connected and hand holding was there for me. Good. So that was very important. Good. I felt good with you. Mm -hmm. Talking to a colleague. Yeah. And um, you asked you said uh, orientations, actively mm -hmm. offered orientations are welcome. So so far I had ideas. But I can give you I did and you mm -hmm. you took it and worked mm -hmm. with it. That was yeah. very satisfying. And whenever you said, the second time when you said uh, a colleague, that time I get reminded that I'm a colleague. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's a, a tendency to be as a student and a... And so one down. <laughs> and one yeah. down. <laughs> so that is there. But you, you came back. It was only for a moment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you say colleague? Oh, yeah. I'm also a colleague. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, we can finish yeah, at this yeah. point. Yeah. So you can leave your yeah. your position and your role, and we can discuss. Thank you. I can start. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, say back on the process. Uh, the process between you two. Yes. I thought this was very. Uh, Equal. Yeah. And uh, we both shared responsibility. Yeah. And uh, you had the red, red thread. <laughs> you had the uh, thread. The thread, yeah, the farm, yeah. the string. Yes. Yeah, yes, yes. Very fine. And that left, left uh, the freedom to explore. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the service a, a consultant should do for his client because he has to do with so many things that. The consultant should know where they are. Yeah. And and for the content, I thought for myself, oh, what the happiness always could have <laughs> to explore with someone before you go into the deal with the contract. Yeah. Uh, so it gave me an insight to 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 have this time for myself mm -hmm. when I'm dealing with big contracts. Mm -hmm. to, let me be free <laughs> yeah. and look at the content mm -hmm. and how important this contract is. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. And clarifying context, yeah, not clarifying. not yeah. just heading for the yeah. content. And and how you can be on having an uh, assignment <laughs> to contract and to be free yeah. to do it. Not no, it's wonderful. I understood you. Mine, mine is not bad. <laughs>
Hi, I was, uh, I, I thought what was extremely interesting was your choice of priorities yes. and how you put aside uh, the issue of the contract yes. instead of jumping yes. uh, right away because it was the first thing he said and it yes. had an influence on all the rest evidently. Yes. Uh, so I thought it was very interesting that you chose not to deal with this and indicated it to him. Yes. That there is some business that we have aside, but maybe we set it aside for now and then we'll go yes. we'll, we'll come right. back to it later. So I thought this was very interesting in terms of the the process. And and also I thought again it was very interesting when he was talking about the problems with the human resource director and the general manager. Um, the questioning and uh, coming back to it in a very, uh, on a very equal relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's not your goal necessarily. It's, of course, it, it, uh, it's uh, part of your business. Uh, mm -hmm. when, when you told him, uh, he said, I, I don't know why I'm thinking about uh, the problems of this guy. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought, you know, it could go into an issue of the screen, the drivers, etc., etc. And you very clearly chose to say, no, of course it's your problem, because you're working for you and to yes. achieve the goal. Yes. So I thought that was another very interesting turning point mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, the style, the kind of process mm -hmm. that you're using. So mm -hmm. thank you very much, because mm -hmm. it was really very interesting to me. And I think um, your comments there, Sylvie, and to some extent yours to clear, it um, reflects to me how frequently within TA supervision and consultancy, mm -hmm. we move to classical concepts which focus on mm -hmm. the individual mm -hmm. rather than, than that being one step out and holding the mm -hmm. whole mm -hmm. piece. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, uh, You're trained to do that. Yes, yes. I, I would not have worked on the state oh, of our lives at some time. Yeah. We are trained. It's but actually, common, it? this is yes. This yeah. is the com This is a way it could have been dealt with. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Could I ask a question? Um, how, how did you um? How, how did you decide to leave mm. this to one side? What made you go? I'm not going to do that now. Yeah. Is there, do you know? I was not oriented about the whole picture, how important that is. Yeah. Mm. I didn't want didn't just to do the first thing I understand. <laughs> <laughs> or the first feeling that's coming out. Oh, feeling, let's do something with that. I first wanted to have an overview what's a, on what level the possible task of our supervision could be and then decide uh, within the frame we have about the priorities. Yeah. Yeah. And I always have to uh, to think about what my my counterpart is needing most to enlarge his competence, yeah. and not to do just something what may be important as well. At the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like to comment on. Uh, I actually noted how much time got spent at the very beginning on explaining. Mm -hmm. How you work together. Yeah. Nearly 20 minutes. Yeah. And uh, I think that just said a lot for how, I'm, I'm not sure you have your own feelings, of course, but for me, that was, wow, that's great. That's a lot yeah. of time just in getting to know each other and letting you yeah. know me, and which of course stops a lot of guesswork yeah. happening later on, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, um, yeah, it was, it it was, was quite a also for demonstration, yeah. but in Good. this but in this case, it's also on a process <laughs> level a model of daring really in, uh, to clarify things in the beginning and not stepping yeah. into it yes. and having the problems later. Yes, yeah. yes, and and um, I'm reminded how um, many times as a consultant I've driven straight into, well, let's find out the problem is and let's go, go, go. Yes. Um, which is that danger of signing contracts that, you know, <laughs> have you responsible for something you're not really responsible for. Mm. Yeah. And some sometimes uh, your counterpart part is not willing to spend the time on that. Yeah. And I explain oh, yeah. it why it's necessary. Yeah. And he, if we have to want to work together, my partner also have to respect 
my priorities yes. from the perspective of my responsibility for the process. And if he doesn't want to spend the time, then I make it very clear what risks we have and what we might <laughs> pay later for it, for not doing yeah. that. Yeah. Um, mm. I, I, I just, it reminds me, I'm probably right in saying it happens in other countries, but certainly um, in Australia, the counterpart would be wanting to get on with it. Yeah. They, wouldn't, they want you to come in and they want you to fix it. Yeah. You're the consultant, you come in and fix it. And and so, I tell, if um, you want such a consultant, call somebody else. Yes. Well, yeah. It's not and my work. It's not my work. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I have a bride myself as well. Yeah. It's not only that because you pay me, you can define what should be the yes. criteria for my yes. professionality. Yeah. I think also the kind of modeling that you did was very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Because in a way, the way you accompanied him was in a way modeling the way he could uh, relate mm -hmm. yes. to the right. human resource director right. too. Right. Yeah. right. So this was very... And not important. defending him? Not mm. being con yeah. Yeah, exactly. but but just telling no what are the logics of my profession when I should do oh, something yeah. for you. Yeah. Somehow we have to deal with that, otherwise you will pay it later and, yeah. and I'm not able to be responsible for that. Yeah. Um, I have, um, while I, I mean, I, I agree with you that it's important to have a working um, with the system and not with individuals. Yeah. I know I find it difficult to do that. I see a systemic setup as well and then I it very often very quickly goes to why that particular individual uh, is behaving or doing things in a certain way. Yeah. Um, and I'm wondering well um, it's kind of like a let, let, let yes. me uh, do one correction. I'm not only working with the system, I work with people, but people in their organizational roles, yeah. not yeah. with private individuals. Okay. So can I just ask you to, just one uh, one more time, just clarify what are the, f the problems we can get into so that it's very clear in my because I need to separate these two in my mind. If we get into the private individual space, You, we can't. You so might, we can't do anything. Yeah, so yeah. it can be fine, but irrelevant. Yeah. Yeah? So everybody mm -hmm. learns something mm -hmm. about the con. The understanding, mm -hmm. to share reality about the contract, and the controlling of the project might not be better afterwards. Um, where I'm coming <coughs> from is, I work within a relatively small organization. Yes. And we do primarily training. Yeah. And we work with other contract with other organizations and do that there. This organize my organization is very um, is very personality based. Right. A lot of dynamics are very there is it actually is run by a couple and then it's grown mm -hmm. significantly. And a lot of our processes and procedures are governed by personality mm -hmm. and not by what is good for the organization. Yes. So people also adapt, uh, a lot of the employees yeah. adapt to working with each personality because of it. And I, I find myself struggling to say, well, I can see how, I can kind of do that helicopter thing and see yeah. these are the things that are not working, but I, um, I'm not yet able to get others to see it or get others yeah. to... Um, they, they may not want to. And they may not want to. So, and this then is you the can't do anything with communication. Yeah. Then you have to, dis to you have to use other means to clarify your relationship to the organization. Maybe splitting, have a separate contract, contracting with them on being different, being clear about mm -hmm. yourself about being different, offering maybe saying, okay, you do this. Mm -hmm. I I'm coming from a dif different perspective. Uh, can we f somehow find out whether you would accept this as a complementary perspective and call me in if you think it's needed mm. or at least do you tolerate it if the client uh, uh, is not easy to handle with my perspectives 
will you then uh, not <coughs> tell him that this because I, I, I'm not personally working too much? Will you support me also? You would not work the same time. There are many possibilities. You can clarify your relationship to your own organization and your personal cult, professional culture uh, in comparison with the organizational and professional culture of your delivering organization. I asked him to questions like this too. Mm. This is little things he told me gave me the impression he doesn't have a, a difference problem in that space. <clears throat> he doesn't have. I didn't hear. He de he didn't he didn't have a, a cultural difference ah, okay, cultural with his difference. own yes. organization at that point. At least mm. uh, there there is no opposition. Okay. <clears throat> so if there is a significant difference, and I'm yes. starting to see that way between how I choose to define my professionality yeah. and the culture within the organization. Yeah. Uh, particularly in India, and I don't know if it's, uh, you know, it may be something more universal than just India. You know, uh, there is a power equation, and in terms of developing a shared reality, yeah. if the, 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 the person wielding greater power chooses not to, there's very little change that can be created. There's very little shared space that can be created. Yeah. It's really, this is my reality, and I run the show. Yeah, you, know, you, you can try to do kind of guerrilla professionality. But in the <laughs> it's a little tough to do but that, yeah. in the in the long run that's not a solution. Mm -hmm. and then the matching between your professional understanding of the world and their understanding is, is uh, getting loose. So either you influence or you exit. Is that how it works? Or you find a way to tolerate each other. Mm. It must not be a uh, it has not to be a power play on r reality it's also it's can you also could agree on diversity and how to deal with it from an organizational sense, but also... What, what about the jewel? Jewel, like two, two. like two levels. Two. Oh, ah, okay, know, yeah. two. So it's um, like when you draw the two circles yeah. around what you bring personally mm -hmm. and then looking at it on the whole organizational mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to pick up on what Ray said around the time spent at the beginning, um, talking about how you worked. I, you know, I thought there was a, there's a lot of humility and that mm. I thought it was really mm. a really lovely piece of work and thank you Eta for sharing what you did I think it was like a whole out of that and it's um, one of the things that I noticed, I was drawing because I like to drawing sort of the contract of where the, mm. what was being explained because it helps me understand um, I particularly like when around um, the questions you ask have really opened, I know it's opened a space, so the two things around what is the situation you are in and what is the problem you have mm -hmm. to solve, mm -hmm. and I saw that really, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, sorry, really thinking mm -hmm. on those two things. Mm -hmm. um, and there was equal body language, mm -hmm. and whether you are both aware of that. Um, the other thing I noticed happened that, um, and I was wondering what was happening for you around, there were lots of questions there for a while you were asking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, is he not seeing the problem? Yes, is that possible? Um, could he accept it? And in my mind, I kind of thought, oh, is there a wee bit of a yes, but going on? <coughs> and this, then, this was not to get answers, but to give him a variety of kind of questions that focus on what I mean. Of mm. course. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I wasn't questioning your practice. That's yeah. something I was noticing. And my heart started beating really fast. And then, because what was drawn out was um, he, to, he brought up that he was in fear of what might happen um, for the HR manager, I think it was. Yeah, um, easy struggle. Yeah. yeah, so I was. Um, it, it was, was a bit grander. Mm -hmm. You deepened the, um, yeah. deepened the learning and deepened. Because it became more um, silences and more space in between mm -hmm. each of your conversation. Mm -hmm. um, so it sort of slowed, slowed the process down, which I thought was really, mm. really nice. You know, it was, um, mm. 
Yeah. So okay. but before you had mentioned the word fear, I was thinking, I wonder what's what's happening. And then it was you mentioned um, <laughs> fear around <laughs> what might happen, so mm -hmm. what you created there. Um, and I helped him uh, not to be too sensitive to this reaction, but mm. stepping a bit back to have a more professional view what can happen. Yeah. Yeah. So this yeah. keeps yeah. the fear down. And I thought of how you started with um, this being about a learning conversation. Yes. Um, and then uh, the part of the contracting at the beginning was around theory. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, you should bring that in quite a bit around towards the end of what have, what have yeah. we done that's been systemic and yeah. just watching. This could be. But I, maybe it didn't make sense to do more around no, this. Mm, he, no. he insisted on this yes. part of the contract by saying, yeah. oh, was this systemic what That's we did true. right now? Yeah. And I, 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 I connected with that, but from my side I didn't offer yeah. more because I didn't see it right now as relevant. Yeah. Mm. Were you, and I have a sense um, at the beginning, because it was a big, big piece of, um, a lot of content. Um, yes. Did it feel a bit overwhelming? Like, really? Yeah. Um, did it feel you? Some. No. 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 Okay. Mm. Mm. See, so, so I, I, I felt like he um, he can at least um, <clears throat> um, meet the ideas, maybe not thinking them through a lot, but we always work with tapes also in the everyday life and so people are used to if they want to go over through, through it again they just listen again to the tape and mm -hmm. they write reports and reports with the, to their peers with which they have consulted so that my my time is used optimally mm -hmm. and it's and it's not um, um, it's not limited by the absolute optimal time he needs to integrate at once. Mm -hmm. I always think also economically, my mm -hmm. lifetime, mm -hmm. we have an hour, mm -hmm. but we can do more. And you said it's a huge amount. Mm -hmm. We cannot do that huge amount mm -hmm. when at each point I make sure that he immediately integrates everything. Mm -hmm. But he's an eager person. He will, mm -hmm. he will suck mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe not now, but later. Mm -hmm. I was also struck, I think you just reminded me of it, that when you were asking lots of questions, that it felt like you were thinking out loud. So it was part of your transparency. Um, yes. You said things like, um, did you talk to others already? Uh, which manager matters most to you? You know, you, you, were, you were just sort of thinking, it seemed like you were thinking out loud. Yeah, and giving him uh, concrete sentences, mm -hmm. he can use to think. Mm. Mm. So then, if he chooses to listen to the tapes afterwards, yes. there, there's more happening right. in there. Right, mm. exactly. Also, think about process. Very adequate notes of the process, which is helpful as a reminder. Um, it's, it's really what I see happening here is the first four of Burns' interventions. So, interrogation, specification. Mm. Um, and then confrontation and explanation. And I think what is unusual in my observation of people doing a piece of, let's call it supervision for want of, and the answer is a type of learning conversation, is um, often there is not so much specification. It's something about wanting to get to the confrontation fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in fact, some of the questions were confrontations. Mm -hmm. In the same form, but um, framed in a different way. Yeah, the, yeah. the classical confrontation. It's certainly not a classical confrontation. No. No. I mean, I think about how Burns said confrontation can be with humour. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And confrontation is it's just uh, confronting a uh, frame of references, exactly. not exactly. not attacking a person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And that's a confrontation. Yes. And you can then see it. Yeah. Oh. And then sometimes there was an explanation. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah. I thought there was a subtle confrontation there when you suggested about um, 
having the four people all together in the room and whether that would be a fuss when it were mm. used. Yeah. And uh, I noticed um, that being something that hadn't been thought of and what would what would it be like if I did that? Like you could just kind of see um, but this was a concern. Mm. Uh, it's not necessarily I thought he should be confronted with it, but uh, I anticipate that his customers would not will have some problems to understand why why so much fuss about yes. contracting mm. could be reasonable. Yes. And, and I identified with him mm. and yeah, tried to yeah. to support him. Mm. It's kind of a parallel process there, I thought. Wondered about. Where do you see the parallel? Well, just whether um, Peter wanted to make a fuss or go into it any further. And oh, that he? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like oh, I, 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 yeah. See. I see how it could be, be yeah. parallel, but it's not an important no, no, it's not, but it's uh, question. Mm. Mm.